That breathing you hear over the intercom is professional diver Richard Frerick, and he's got a job to do. We'll be running off a compressor. There'll be an air hose going in there to our hat. Uh, so I'll be down there as long as it takes and we'll be hooking up a three inch line to a pump and just pumping all the good stuff out. Now it might sound like Richard's diving for sunken treasure, but the actual payload is much less valuable. The sediment at the bottom of the water tank in Trinity might not be actual treasure, but this diver claims it saves the city money. Now this is 100,000 gallons or 150,000 gallons. That's a lot of money dumped down on the ground. You still have to have somebody go inside there and clean everything out. So save a little bit of water and do it while it's all in there. But he says the real value is in the clarity of the water. This is your drinking water. This is everybody's drinking water that's around here. The divers also conduct yearly inspections required by the state and say that even though cleaning isn't required, it really should be. Certain places you get dirt and other stuff going in, so I mean that stuff's got to come out periodically. If you don't, it just keeps building up and building up, and eventually it starts going through your lines. City manager Steve Jones says the power failure they had with their pumps a few months ago caused an issue that now is less likely to happen. The brown water that came out of this tank being stirred up is not going to be an issue anymore. Jones adds that even if that hadn't happened, it would have been the right choice. Council and the mayor that we have took the initiative to go ahead and have them come out and clean the tanks. It's going to be something that's going to be great for our water system, for our customers. Haley Squires, KTRE, East Texas News 9.